How are y'all doing with Pokemon Monsters at Drugs and Christian Pornos the Power One Gamer here and yesterday in my uh, Sony video, well yesterday for you guys, like half an hour ago for me in real life, I mentioned that I only have three companies left, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. We already got Sony out of the way and you know what's next, Microsoft. Let's go with the Xbox press conference. already know what's gonna go down at Microsoft's show. Basically, the entirety of the show is gonna be focused on presenting the Scorpio in the best light as possible. So rather than going on some tangent about some games, I will talk briefly about a couple games that I think is going are you know going to be uh, talked about, and then maybe you know branch off a little and uh, talk mainly about the Scorpio. Alright, first up I have a feeling we might be seeing another Forza game as, you know, they have their uh, triple threat Halo, Forza, Gears of War. So, because of their triple threat, I have a feeling we might be seeing something from Forza, possibly Forza Motorsport 7 or Forza Horizon 4. However, I don't have a, uh, I have a feeling that that's not really going to be all that big. Most likely, though, what they might be talking about is Xbox Game Pass, which recently launched for gold members exclusively. We uh, gold members have to shell out an extra uh, 14 bucks. Well, I mean, 14 day free trial. You have to shell out an extra 10 bucks if you want to go past that. But um, you have two weeks of a free trial of gold or of Game Pass if you have gold right now and I have a feeling that they're going to be expanding it to the general public uh, during or after E3 uh, well like soon after E3 they're going to be expanding Game Pass to uh, include everybody that owns an Xbox and not just the people who have gold even though that's pretty much synonymous as everybody who has an Xbox has gold but for those who don't like I did before you know like November of last year well, I mean, you can get Game Pass now for a much cheaper price. Or possibly get it soon. We saw Gears of War 4 last year, and we've also seen the Gears of War Ultimate Edition. However, I have a feeling we're not going to be seeing anything of Gears of War this year. It's way too early to be talking about another Gears of War game, or even like another like bundle thing. However, I have a feeling that part of the Scorpios is thing is going to be showing off that 4K uh, possibility with the older games. So, there's that. However, I do have a feeling we are going to see another Halo game, as Halo Wars 2 came out, but that wasn't exactly big, and the last big main series Halo game was Halo 5 Guardians in 2015. It's been a little while, and Halo 5 Guardians ended on a stupid cliffhanger, so we need to see Halo 6 soon, or at least some kind of hint of Halo 6, you know, maybe like a quick flash of Cortana in the back or something. I don't know. But I just have a hopeful feeling that they might talk about Halo 6, or maybe even something like Halo 5 ODST. Alright, now with their main first party games out of the way, and them not really having that many exclusives, let's move on to Xbox's main event, Project Scorpio. I have a feeling that Microsoft and the Xbox division is finally going to be giving the Scorpio a name. It's been called Project Scorpio for the past like year, so a 4K console deserves a name. I have a feeling it's going to have the name reveal this year. And I have a feeling, I mean, they've already confirmed all the specs and everything. They reported it to, I think, Digital Foundry. But, I mean, I just have a feeling that there's going to be some more uh, about those specs. Maybe, you know, some uh, other things like the NVIDIA uh, chip in the uh, Switch is custom. So they've made some adjustments to the clocking speed. So maybe uh, Microsoft's like, oh, we overclocked it through the wazoo and now it puts out 15 teraflops. No, but, um, I, I mean, I really doubt that. But, like, I just want something else, you know, to spice it up a little uh, inside. But I have a feeling the main thing that they're going to be showing off is going to be a lot of the ease uh, for developers as to how they can, you know, easily code for both Xbox One and uh, Scorpio. Um, hardware, because uh, apparently the dev kit for Scorpio and Xbox One, you just have to like flick a switch and it's Xbox One, flick a switch the other way and it's Scorpio. Apparently it's something like that, but it's not like, you know, two separate um, dev kits. So it's one dev kit for Xbox and Scorpio and it's easy to switch between the two for 
uh, development. But I know the main thing they're going to be touting is full native 4K. 6 point something teraflops is good enough to put out native 4K. 4.2 like in the PS4 Pro is not enough to put out native 4K. They always have some kind of back end stuff. But the 6.4 or whatever the heck is in the Scorpio uh, is supposed to be enough to put out native 4K. So I have a feeling they're going to be 4K'ing the crap out of their press conference. And that means we're going to get all the new games in 4K, 4K, 4K. But not just the new games. I also have a feeling that they're going to be talking about older games, such as Gears of War 4, Halo 5, etc., etc., that they made and everything, that you can take your old games that you still own, you know, Overwatch and all those and everything about that, and you can put them in a Scorpio. Like, let's say you buy a Scorpio and you, like, trade off your old Xbox One, but you still want all those games. You don't want to, you know, buy, buy those games again. So you keep those games, you buy a Scorpio, you have it at home, uh, and normally with, like, something like the... PS4 and PS3, like what you would normally expect when you buy a new console, is that the previous console's games, unless you're a Nintendo, unless it's a Nintendo system, and and excluding the Switch, but normally what you would expect is that it can't play the older games. So uh, the PS3 at the beginning could play PS2 games, but the PS3, uh, the newer PS3 models, where they actually started making money on them. Um, go watch the Did You Know Gaming on that for more info on that, but the PS3 where they actually started making money on it, those PS3s didn't have the PS2 compatibility, and I don't think the PS4 has PS3 compatibility at all. So when you buy a new console, normally you don't really expect it, unless you're a Nintendo console excluding the Switch, uh, to play the games from the last generation. However, um, this is a little bit different, it's not a new console generation, so I have a feeling that they are going to be touting the fact that, oh, don't worry, don't sell your old games, keep your old games, because you can still pop open the disc, shove it into your new system, and it'll still play the, uh, the exact same way, except now it's in beautiful something something by 2160p uh, resolution. And while I don't think there are going to be any new, like, announced first party games other than hopefully Halo 6, uh, there is, or even like a Halo 5 ODST, there is go probably going to be some game footage of like new games coming out, maybe like Destiny 2 or Call of Duty World War 2 or uh, 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 for the older Forza games, even older games like the older Forza games, Gears of War, just to show that 4K capability, they're going to be playing those games, maybe not the newer ones like, you know, Destiny 2, World War 2, because those are still like really in development. But maybe some of the older games, like, you know, Gears of War, Forza, or all those, they're going to have, like, playable, maybe not necessarily demos, but, like, the thing where there's a guy playing it in the back, and it, um, basically, like, live streams in real time to the big screen. Um, so I have a feeling that's what's really going to be happening, is they're going to be showing some of the older games. Maybe they might even show some new content from some upcoming games coming up. That makes total sense, upcoming games coming up. But um, the point still stands. I have a feeling they might be showing some, you know, new features and everything of the Xbox Scorpio and possibly doing some other stuff there with that as well. And so, guys, that about does it for this video. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Comment below how hype you are for E3 and how hype you are for Microsoft's press conference. And uh, at the end, when I'm done with all the E3 videos, I swear to God, I will put up that info card where you can tell me which one you are looking forward to the most. And subscribe to get alerts when new videos come out. And hit the bell to join the notification squad and actually get notifications. Subscribing just puts me in your subscription feed. And sometimes my videos will show up on your homepage. And share with your friends to know bad YouTubers such as myself. So, guys, in short, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I am the Powerpunk Gamer. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. My likes are out.